up guys coming back at y'all with another youtube video so i'm at the gym right now currently at like 11 30 p.m just got off a shift so about to hit some chest tonight about to grab a little chest pump you know get some blood in there trying to stay big even though i'm cutting and losing weight so yeah um I'm gonna take y'all through this chest workout. The typical thing, you know. Um, show y'all what I do. I probably might do a voiceover. Sorry guys. Cause I wanna get locked in and hurry up and kinda get through this workout because I gotta be up early in the morning. So yeah. Typical thing, you know, but hey, we get in that work. We're doing this shit on a daily basis. We're pushing it, you know. We're making video to where I can keep on having content consistently, day in, day out, consistently each week, you know. Um, trying to get more engagement with my viewers, my audience, to where y'all can either get motivated to do this shit, you know, just have discipline to start getting to the gym, you know, or just grinding your ass off, no matter what you do, whether that's in work, uh, that's working out, that's grinding to get that new job you want, um, boxing, sports, what's that other shit they do with the money, stocks, uh, I'm catching a brain for like, man, I be dropping the things, though. Yeah, Y'all know what I'm saying. J just put the work into what you want. It's not gonna come in like that. It's not gonna come quick. But, the work you put in is going to show out. Everybody's like timing is different too. So it might take three months. It might take eight. It might take a year or four years. You don't know. But guess what? Put the work in. So tonight I'm going to put that work in for y'all. Show y'all what I do. And guess what? I'm going to work my ass off to make sure I get a little juicy, little pump in my chest. And just, you know, feel good afterwards. So let's run it up. I got y'all. All right, so I said I was going to do a voiceover over the video, so here I am doing it. All right, so to start off the chest workout, basically I'm doing dumbbell flies on the incline bench, so incline flies with the dumbbells. Um, basically I just did a little pause to make sure I feel a good stretch in my chest, but basically it's almost like a fly and a press combination. Basically, when I'm down, like, right here, it looks like I'm doing normal incline press. But then as I do the motion and I'm going up, I'm, like, twisting my wrist to where it's like a fly motion. It's kind of like you're pressing, too, because of the way your body is kind of when you're on the bench. But trust me, I did this a good amount of times. I mean, you can change up. You can keep your wrist neutral the whole time. Me, I just keep it pronated when I'm going down decentric and then I uh, twist it to uh, like a neutral position when I'm at the top of the movement. But look, I've been doing this, you know, I like to do pre-exhaust movements before I go into, you know, uh, intense sets of presses or heavy sets. And it allows me to get a pump and just get the bluff on there. So I did these for about three sets. I went for 12 to 15 reps. You know, I did, I think the weight's like 45 pounds. Might be 50, I'm not sure. But I mean, I'm doing this movement like really slow just to where I can like, you know, get the blood in there and just chase the pump. Because honestly, if I was just repping it with like 60s, I could probably do a good amount of reps as well, like 10 to 12 or 12 to 15. But that's like if I'm just repping it, you know, I was going slow and control to make sure I could feel the good stretch on my chest and making sure I could squeeze it and get the blood in there. So, I mean, I was able to achieve getting the pump from it and, you okay. know, that's what I'm gonna keep on doing. Pump. Heading to the next exercise, the bar is bending a little bit because for the previous set, I kind of, um, yeah, fell, so I had to kind of throw it and it didn't work out how I wanted it to be. So, yeah, um, yeah, with that, being said incline barbell press doing three sets of eight to ten so for this one i'm kind of just throwing up the weight i'm not um you know doing slow and control I'm trying to keep my strength up as i'm cutting and losing fat 
slash weight. So I want to be able to keep that strength for sure. It's 185 pounds. So I was aiming for eight to 10 reps, I'm pretty sure. I think I got nine in this clip specifically. If y'all want to count and restart again, y'all can. But, you know, I was I know for sure I was able to achieve the goal I wanted. But the previous set where I failed, when I kind of bent the bar, that y'all didn't see because I didn't post a video. I think I hit like seven and I was kind of pissed about it. But, yeah. Okay, so right here, big 80s, flat dumbbell press. Usually don't do this a lot, but, I mean, I just wanted to incorporate it, so... Here I am, doing a little pause, you know, and I'm going to true failure for here. Pause again, you know. Who, who, who you know has pause reps or does pause reps with some 80s, bro? And I'm going to true failure. I ain't, I ain't hit just two or three reps. I'm going to keep on going until I can't go no more. And I want to chase a pump. I want to get. I want my chest to grow. And look, it grow. It grow. I mean, I've been working out for two years, and it's... It's not where I want to be, but it's definitely better compared to how my chest used to look when I first started. Like an anorexic son of a gun. Yeah, fam. But yeah. Um, not going to lie. I probably can do 90s. Maybe 100s. If I was like just repping it. But like I say, I kind of rep the last set beforehand to keep my strength up. So for this one, I was trying to chase a pump. That's why I did like the pause reps. And all that type of stuff. So, yeah. um, As y'all can tell, it definitely hit. The pump definitely hit. So, yeah. Okay. I know y'all seen the back of that shirt. That thing so far, I'm not even going to cap. I was jamming to music. Is that little Stranger Things theme music that they be playing? Yeah. Might have to take it out so I don't get copyrighted. But, whatever. Okay, so to finish off the chest workout... I'm doing high to low flies or decline flies. I think that's what it's called. Whatever it is, look, I got to target my lower chest more because I haven't been doing as much because I've been doing a lot of incline movements and flat and regular flies. But in my opinion, you do need a, to have a bigger chest or to make it grow more. I definitely believe that you have to do more incline movements than anything, but don't neglect, you know, doing lower chest movements mid chest movements all that type of stuff so right here i did three sets i think i did about 10 to 12 reps slow and control but i'm not sure so as a just to let y'all know you can do it like a fly or you can make it like you're scooping it me it looks like it's kind of in the middle but i was trying to make it like a scoop movement basically but look whether you do it like a scooping movement or just regular fly your lower chest will be targeted and you will get a pump from it. As long as you do it right and you use your chest, you don't try to use your shoulders, all that type of stuff. So, yeah, guys, um, that is the chest workout. Um, hopefully, I was able to be informative for y'all. Maybe y'all got entertained, but I doubt it. But, in my opinion, I was really informative because I believe... With me talking over the video, saying how to do each and everything, showing the sets, reps, all that type of stuff. Y'all can incorporate it to your workouts to grow. So, next time you do a chest workout, incorporate it. And I bet you you get a little pump. You don't have to do the same workout I did. If you want, try it. You'll definitely get a pump, no matter what weight you do. So, that being said, peace out, and I hope y'all use it. Alright, so, okay. I'm hoping this angle is good. But, yeah, so... That was the chest workout. Um, so, you know, I had to do an outro for y'all to where, you know, a typical thing to where the video's not too short. Sorry. I need water and get hydrated and get the water in my muscles. But yeah, uh, got a good little pump. Chest was working, was pushing some weight, even though it's late. Oh, I just rhymed. Yeah, I know it's not all that. But yeah, um, hit some 80s for some pause reps rep um 185 on incline barbell press barbell press barbell press damn rocky holy shit speak up bro but yeah um not a bad workout at all 
Um, one of my sets for Barbell Press, I ended up not being able to pick it up. And as y'all can tell, I didn't have a spotter, so I had to throw off the weight a little bit. And I bent the bar. Might throw a picture in one of the corners for y'all to see, but yeah. Bend the bar. Never happened before. Chewing my gum to help the face fat, because I'm cutting too. Feel me? <laughs> but yeah, um. I don't know, bro. All I can say is just work, bro. Work, grind, achieve your goals, bro. Like, man, I, li I like doing this fitness shit and throwing up some weight, but. You know, I've just been worried about strength and getting them big and trying to weigh as much as possible. But, like, my mindset got changed a little bit since, you know, I'm cutting. I'm trying to make my muscles pop out more, have abs, obliques, all that. But, you know, you got to deal with it. You got to do some shit that a lot of people don't do. You know, for example, dieting, right? Plus, I live in Louisiana. For my people that do know and watching the video, you know what I'm about to already say. And for the people that don't know, bro, we got the best food, hands down. I don't give a fuck. But just because of that, it, it's hard a little bit to, you know, do this dieting thing. Just saying. But, you know, I got to find a way. I'm going to keep on doing. Plus, I work in a restaurant and I'm a server. That's another thing. Like, I work in a restaurant as a server good restaurant and I live in Louisiana where we have the best food those two things together don't even go hand in hand whenever I'm trying to diet it's a struggle bro but look you know I'm proving myself right that I can do it and I won't let little things get to me so that's just a thing for y'all don't let the little get shit to, don't like little things that don't seem like it's going well get to you real quick or determine how your future is going to be so yeah with that being said i'm about to start heading home it's humid as fuck outside sorry for cussing ah, jesus just mm, check the mail. But yeah um it's really hot well not even yeah it's hot humid whatever it is if you live in louisiana you would know similar to my texas people i think i don't know but Huh. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, guys, thank y'all again for watching. Um, if y'all stay through the whole video, you know that means a lot to me. All y'all support matters. Like and subscribe if y'all don't mind. Um, share my channel or share my videos with your friends, family, whoever. Um, turn the bell on to where you get notifications whenever I post a video. And um, yeah. God bless every single one of y'all. Keep on achieving your goals. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or can't do. Peace out, and I'll see y'all in the next one.